Hello, and welcome to an FPGA vision video. We want to implement a neural network on an FPGA. And in this video, we will define the parameters for the neural network. We are doing supervised learning, so we need data and we need labels for that. And as an application example, we will look at road signs. So you have road signs telling you where to drive uh, on a road. And um, in Germany, they have different colors. You have uh, the primary roads, the motorways, the autobahn, and um, they have road signs in blue. And you have secondary roads, the federal roads, Bundesstraße, and they have road signs in yellow. And this is a good example. Of course, the color alone is not sufficient to um, detect such a road sign, but it's a very good example to design a neural network. With machine learning, we're not programming certain colors, but the system learns from an example. So we give examples of scenes with these road signs, and then the system learns how to detect the colors. And um, I have provided a video from a road in Germany. You can download it from our server or you can make your own photos. If you are on a road, please take care. And, um, but you can also use other examples from scenes where you want to detect certain colors. We start by only detecting yellow. And uh, in a later video, we will use also yellow and blue. We have to determine labels. And for this, we can use a snapshot of the video and then use a drawing program I'm using IrfanView here to manually mark the positions that are yellow with white and the positions that are not yellow with black. And this is what the result can look like. We want to detect these colors with a neural network and we're using a network with one hidden layer that has three nodes and the output layer has one node and this output node tells us whether we have detected the color or not. You can change the number of nodes, but um, this is the structure that we use in the example. And uh, we use an octave program to determine the parameters for this neural network. So here's the octave script. It's written by Thomas Flokowski, a master student at our university. And uh, the script performs determination of the network parameters by backpropagation. We do not go into the details of that algorithm. You have literature to check that. But here you define uh, the parameters of this training. So we have 400 iterations and the learning rate, the step size that you have uh, is set to this um, value. Our images are 1280 by 720 pixel and um, we give an output image uh, to see the result of the learning with these two colors. We have a random number. We use always the same number to have uh, reproducible values. You can change that to have different optimization starting points. Then we read um, the input data and you determine the image names here. What we use here is uh, the name D42. Snap1. This is the, the name of the road, B42, Bundesstraße 42. And the labels, we have B42 label 1. And they are in PNG format. Um, then we um, check the labels. And uh, here you have the definition of the labels. So if the label is zero, then you have the background color. Everything that is greater than zero is uh, the color we want to detect. Then we have uh, preparation of the data. And here, now we define the network structure. So we have three input values, red, green, and blue. We have three nodes in the hidden layer and we have one output node. You can change that. We are working at the moment with these 
parameters. And then we start training the network. The code is also provided. You see it here. Um, as I said, we can't go into the details, um, but of course you can have a look. Um, the training network uses backpropagation and um, then you get the output of this training and um, we determine uh, an image and we print out the parameters uh, from the optimization. Now we start Octave and we invoke the program. First we see some statistics, so the category of our color, the yellow color is 16%. This matches our expectations, so reading of the data is okay. And now training of the network starts. And this needs 400 iterations, which takes some time, so we accelerate a bit here. Now the training is finished, we see the training error, which uh, gets smaller and smaller with iterations, so everything has worked fine. This is the test prediction of our network and we see here the sign has been detected. There are some patches here, so the training is not perfect. And you can use another training image to improve the network. And here is uh, the matrix for the neural network that has been determined by the Octave program. So now we have the parameters in floating point. And in the next video, I will show you how to convert them to fixed point and use them for an FPGA hardware implementation.